Hey there, it's Juan with Hand Therapy Secrets. I wanna share with you what I have in terms of wound care supplies. So now if you're a hand therapist and you're working in acute care, if you're working in a private practice, outpatient type of setting, then you're gonna need some wound care supplies. So I'm gonna share with you today what I have in my clinic. So, I don't know if you know, but I have a lot of experience from a hospital setting. I learned a lot of all my wound care stuff from there. I used to do Whirlpool, Pulse Sauvage, like all that good stuff. And then of course you've got all those people in acute care, like post-surgery, uh, still in the hospital, so many different things. And I was really able to learn so much of that and then apply it into hand therapy, into kind of like that outpatient hand therapy setting. And now I'm in my own private practice and I'm gonna show you what I have in my clinic and really how I keep it organized, right? If you haven't seen yet, you should go look at how I keep my split materials organized and it's kind of the same strategy. So. When it comes to wound care supplies, again, I love my little see-through containers because then you could see through what you've got, but it also helps you to stay organized. So I ordered these sizes, really, I ordered it by mistake. And then I said, well, I've got to use these containers because it's a little easier to use them than to send them back, right? Otherwise, my daughter was gonna like commandeer them and take them for her own toys. So in my cabinet, I don't know if you could see, but I've got this cabinet and it's like, this wide and then it's long but i've got on one side i've got split material and then on the other side i've got split uh wound care stuff so in these containers i like to keep certain things i have my sterile fields you can have sterile fields or these are non-sterile fields and these are just chucks right these um open up and they keep your towels clean, your tables clean, and all that good stuff. And, and if they're bleeding or you're pouring normal saline, then it could all drip into this. So you can have sterile fields, which will come, let me see if I still have, no, I don't think I have them, but sterile fields are the ones where you, you know, they're individually wrapped. So anything that's individually wrapped, it's sterile on the inside. So you can have sterile fields, or you can have non-sterile fields. For this particular setting, I have non-sterile fields, but you can have you can have both if you want. Then I have different types of conform wrap or elastomeal. It's called elastomeal, right? So it's conform. It's another name for it, but it's basically just gauze wrap. It's a type of gauze wrap that's breathable and it's a little stretchy, not too stretchy. And I like to keep different sizes for the different types of wound care that we provide. I keep one inch, right? This is one inch. I keep two inch, and then I have four inch, four inch. My four inch for my elbows, or yeah, my four inch really for my elbows. And then my one inch for my fingers and thumbs and my two inch are for my hand stuff or fingers as well. So I keep them there and I keep them organized in my container. That's what it looks like. And then, and you know me, I like me a container that closes and it snaps close to make sure everything stays put. And then I have another box this is where I keep my, my suture removal kit. This is my favorite brand. I have tried a gazillion types of them, but um, this is probably my favorite one, the Deroyal Suture Removal Kit. And it's because if you take a look, the pointy ends of the scissors, the, the point end of the scissors is pointy. So you can, Get in there when your surgeons do really, really tight sutures, and then you kind of have to go in there a little bit. So I've tried different ones. This is a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but you know, it's worth it for my sanity. So I keep them here as well. I keep one or two. I don't do a ton of them, but I keep staple removal kits as well. I just keep one or two. I don't do a ton of them right now. Uh, but every once in a while you get one and then you're like, holy shit, I don't have any. Um, then I keep a two inch uh, Coban <laughs> and one inch Coban. 
So they don't need to go into a box per se, but I like to keep them organized, right? So that's where I keep my stuff. And then we just keep our box full. That way when it's running low, we know, okay, we need to put some more stuff in here because it's empty. So that's how I keep my wound care supplies pretty organized and as clean as possible. And that is a whole nother video on how to stay sterile and stuff. But this is just on my materials alone. I always carry um, sterile four by four and I carry non-sterile four by fours. And that's because uh, sometimes you need sterile and majority of the time you need non-sterile. And then, so I keep two sizes uh, four by fours and then two by twos. And I also have sterile and non-sterile two by two. I always have normal saline. I have two types of tape. I think you guys are gonna see a trend here. I keep two of everything. <laughs> two is an easy one. Three is, is good too. You never wanna start having more than like three choices because it gets confusing. You're like, which one do I use? And then I also work with a team of therapists. And so um, I also don't want to confuse my therapist in terms of like having way too many choices. Have you ever looked on Google and you're trying to look for something and you have like way too many options and you just get confused about which one is really the best one? There you go. So that is, so that is psychology for why you should have two to three choices only. So I keep paper tape. I love me some paper tape. It's not just for wound care, but it's also for scar management. Again, a whole nother video, but I like to keep two inch, uh, two inch paper tape. I don't waste my time buying one inch. Two inch, if you need an inch, tear it off because it's easy to tear. And then I also keep uh, transport tape. So transport tape is just, and I keep this on the smaller end, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to tape some stuff down and it's easy to tear as well. What can I do in my life to make it simple, right? So I do that. I like the normal saline that comes in a smaller bottle and versus like the big one. And then I keep zero form, zero form. Zero form or some kind of non-adherent dressing, right? So I keep zero form. I also have non-adherent dressing. I have non-adherent dressing, non-adherent dressing. So it's called adaptic, adaptic. But you can have one or the other. You don't have to have both, but I do like both. They serve different purposes. And then I have seri, seri strips here as well. I keep serious strips here as well. I don't keep um, a ton of um, of them. I just keep a few pieces. It's just whatever. And of course, your handy dandy band aids. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need a band aid, right? So, um, so I keep these materials here. Now, if you need a lot more because you just see tons of wound care, then you just have a lot more. But I don't. I see wound care, but it's not like we do like tons and tons of wound care being in a um, private practice that's not associated with uh, surgeons. If you're really closely associated with surgeons then, or you work within a surgeon's practice, you might need uh, more supplies or more like more of it, right? Just because you probably do a lot. I also keep alcohol prep pads. And this is funny. Uh, one of my patients brought us a bunch of medical supplies. I don't know why, but she got, got them from her insurance, whatever. And she was like, oh, I'm bringing you some alcohol prep pads. So I think these are from her. Um, and then I also keep, I also keep sterile, sterile um, cotton tips. Sterile cotton tip to applicators. Sterile cotton tip applicators. Now these are great when you're doing wound care because you sometimes need to get into crevices and you want to use these, right? They're great to apply. Um, if you have some kind of cream that you need to apply, you just put it into a sterile thing and then use a cotton tip to apply. So it minimizes like goop everywhere. And then I like these because look, they have a little ruler in the back and that's how you measure. So I think I have a wound care video somewhere here on YouTube where it goes over uh, how do you measure uh, a wound, um, the depth, the width, and the length. And when you have a, um, 
little ruler that is disposable it's perfect so you just take this and you're like oh, okay your thing is of uh, this long it's this deep um and you take your cotton tip and you can use that to measure and then take the cotton tip applicator and measure it to the ruler so i always keep these in my clinic and that i think is pretty much it in terms of my wound care supplies and what I keep in my clinic and really how I keep it all organized. I have little boxes, I use plastic bins and they fit right into my container, my drawer. So I keep these plastic bins and they fit right into my my cabinet here and when I order a tape I will reuse these boxes too so I keep my tape in here so I have my my transport tapes and I have my paper tapes in here I don't always buy my paper tapes with these applicators but I forgot why I bought them like that it was probably like the only way I could get them there was a time at the beginning of the coronavirus that it was like really hard to get materials and so you know so that is how I keep my stuff organized. And again, when it comes to keeping yourself organized, take a few moments every two weeks or once a month to make sure that your stuff is organized and it's nice and neat and you have all your stuff. My staff go through this um, every two weeks to see what supplies they are running low on because I need to order stuff before they run out right so if you kind of keeping your your eye on stuff every two weeks then you're gonna know what you're gonna run out of and what you're gonna need to order so that you don't run out of it